Dat.GUI is these little drop downs that you're seeing over here, which allow you to edit variables and parameters in your sketch in real time. And uh, yeah, it's super helpful for developing things, especially in P5, where you may have values for positions and even like colors and all kinds of crazy stuff that you want to be able to quickly change so that you can design your sketch faster. All right, so let's get started. So here I have a little sketch drawing a circle at an X, Y position. We are gonna use a CDN link. Uh, CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. And that's actually how the P5 files are being delivered to our sketch here. So I have a CDN link to dat.gui, which is bringing in this dat.gui.min.js file for us. And once we have that, then we can set it up like this. We'll say let GUI, you can call it whatever you want, it's just a variable, to hold it equals new dat.gui. And as you can see right away, boom, we have this little controls. There's nothing in it yet, but we're off to a good start. All right, so how it works is you are going to want to have an object. So we're going to, and you're going to edit the parent, or sorry, edit the properties of that object. So we're going to say, let, um, let's say position. Well, we'll call it circle object because I may add like a radius and a color and stuff to this. Circle object equal, and then we'll add these. And we'll make them properties of the object. Like so, boom, okay. And then we can come down here and say circle object dot x, circle object dot y. Nice. And now if we were to change these values, we can move this around. Sweet. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go gui.add folder and call it position. So now you can see we have a folder. It's empty. So we're gonna add something to it. And we're actually gonna make this a variable and say let pause equal the folder, and then to access the folder and add things to it, we say pause dot add, and then circle object, we give it the object, and then in quotes, you give it the property that you want to edit, and then you give it the range starting with the min to the max, so we'll go zero to width. All right, and check that out. Boom. Do the same thing for Y. So now we have position. We can just edit that in real time. Now let's add a radius. So we're starting at 25. And then down here, We will replace this 25 with circle object dot r. Just make sure that works. Cool. And then we can do the same thing. We can add the r value. And we'll probably want it to go from like 5 to 50 or something. Sweet. All right. Now let's try adding a color. First thing we want to do is add a color property up here, and in quotes, we'll say RGB, and then whatever color we want. And then let's say fill circle object dot color. Perfect. And now let's add it to the DAT GUI by doing this. So we're not going to add a new folder. So we wouldn't want it in the position folder, so we can just use the GUI variable itself and say GUI.add.addColor. 
And this is going to give you an automatic color picker. It's really cool. Color object, and then give it the property of that object color. Circle object, sorry. And look at this. Wow. Now we can change the color, the radius. All right, and then the last thing we want to do is somehow save the values because after we do all this and we fine tune everything, it doesn't actually change the values here in our sketch. As you can see, when we reset it, it's back to where we started. So what we're gonna do is on mouse pressed, we are going to console.log the circle object as the sketch currently sees it. So now you can see every time I click, it's console logging what the new value is. And that might not be what we want. Um, so to prevent that from happening when we're actually just editing that GUI values, we can do an if mouse x is less than width. So then it has more of the effect that it'll only console log the object if we're clicking within the canvas. So now I can make a bunch of changes and click to console log it. I can copy this and paste it here. And there we go.